Hello. We're going to be reading Isaiah chapter 15 today. Thank you for joining. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for your prophets. Lord, your prophets um, knew parts of the story, and they could prophesy you coming, Jesus. But Jesus, you know the full story. And you came and you let us know exactly what we need to do. And, and you are now our king. You were with God when he created the heavens and the earth. And you are God. I'm so grateful for that. Lord, open our eyes to see you, our ears to hear you, our mouths to glorify you, and give us softened hearts. Replace our hardened hearts with soft hearts. Give us new hearts um, to know you, to seek you, to find you for salvation. Um, we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Isaiah chapter 15. An oracle concerning Moab. Ar in Moab is ruined, destroyed in a night. Ker in Moab is ruined, destroyed in a night. Dibon goes up to its temple, to its high places to weep. Moab weighs, wails over Nabo and Medeba. Every head is shaved and every beard cut off. In the streets they wear sackcloth, on the roofs and in the public squares they all wail, prostrate and weeping. Heshbon and Eleali cry out. Their voices are heard all the way to Jahaz. Therefore the armed men of Moab cry out and their hearts are faint. My heart cries out over Moab. Her fugitives flee as far as Zoar, as far as Eglath Shelish. Yeah, they go up the way to Lehuth, Lehith, weeping as they go on the road to Horon Nam. They lament their destruction. The waters of Nimrim are dried up and the grass is withered. The vegetation is gone and nothing green is left. So the wealth they have acquainted and stored up, they carry away over the ravine of the poplars. Their outcry echoes along the border of Moab. Their wailing reaches as far as Eglam. Their lamentation as far as Bir Elam. Dimon's waters are full of blood, but I will bring still more upon Dimon. A lion upon the fugitives of Moab and upon those who remain in the land. That was Isaiah chapter 15. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope that you have a blessed day. Continue to seek him. Go to him. Pray. Because you will be seeking him and the promise is that you will find him and he's going to deliver you from captivity. God bless you.